Welcome to our five on five. I'm pleased to be joined by Wairika Mayor Dwayne Keg. Mayor, Mayor Keg, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. It's it's going to be uh, it's going to be good. And I appreciate you having us and talking about these situations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been several, several, uh, just I guess over a week since they uh, contained the McKinney fire. Certainly uh, a frightening time, those few weeks for, for the Wairika community, of course, a significant portion of Siskiyou County. Um, is it too, too soon to ask kind of what we learned in, in that process? Oh, no, no, it's a very good question. Um, our, you know, going into our, our law enforcement and our local fire department, they did an excellent job. I can't, I can't commend them enough for the, the job that they did for evacuating people and figuring out that evacuation zone that people uh, needed to move out of. Um, obviously, anytime you have, you know, a situation like this, you, you learn a lot. So we, uh, in the process of uh, evacuating people, we, um, our law enforcement and a fire department learned learned certain little things that they need to do better. But all in all, they, I mean, they did an excellent job, our fire department and law enforcement. They were jumped right on the situation, took out, took control and made sure everybody was safe. So they, you know, if you were to grade, you were to grade these guys, they, in my book, they did a 10 plus. <laughs> Mm, very good to hear. You would know all the details, right? So uh, it, it was uh, evacuation warnings, for lack of a better phrase, uh, for, for Wairika, pretty scary. Um, but you, you know some history. You were telling me before we recorded this, uh, your dad has some good stories from, I guess, 1955. There was also uh, a frightening fire for Wairika residents. Yeah. Yeah, my dad, when my dad was telling me back in the day when he was in high school, they, uh, they in 1955, they had to evacuate uh, um, sections of Wairika, just like we did here recently. And they actually let the uh, high schoolers out and the high school boys, senior boys, actually had to go fight the fire. So it was quite, it's quite neat back in the day how things change, you know, it's, there, it was a community effort to fight fires back then. It really was. And, and our effort, you know, here in Wairika was, was the same. It was amazing. We had a lot of people joining together, people, we had, um, Mount Shasta police, we had the sheriff's department, we had different uh, sheriff's departments from different counties. Uh, we actually had um, people from Oregon too, down here helping us uh, with the evacuation and make sure everybody was safe. The main thing was after the evacuation um, afterwards was making sure there was no looters and people going around stealing stuff. That was that was the key thing after that. And and they did a great job. All of our law enforcement did. It was it was definitely a community effort and it was hard on the community. I'm not going to deny that. You know, we we were one of the ones uh, people also got evacuated. So it was it was a tough situation for a lot of different people, you know, because that risk of losing everything that, you know, people have worked so hard for in this in this community. It's it's hard to see that, you know, to swallow that, to know that you might not come back to your home again. So it's it's played a big toll on individuals around this town, um, on their attitude and and uh, put a big scare on them, put it that way. Yeah, definitely. It's certainly uh, glad to hear that everybody's coming out of it. OK, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more with Mayor Keg in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our five on five. Again, we're here with Wairika Mayor Dwayne Keg. Uh, Mayor Keg, we talked, of course, about the McKinney fire. Uh, also, some very exciting news uh, of note, I believe, this week. Siskiyou County and Wairika have been working on uh, trying to get some, some money into the homeless community and, and taking care of the local homeless. What can you tell us about what's happening right now? So we have some good news the other day um, through Behavioral Health that they actually got awarded a grant to open up a homeless shelter in uh, downtown Wairika area. So... We've been working on this through um, all different agencies. Um, we have the what they call the NorCal Continuum of Care um, here in Wairika that we put on, which brings together all different um, agencies to work on this project. So now, now we have some good, you know, some good news to advance forward on a homeless shelter first. So we'll be able to get some of these individuals off the streets and hopefully get them connected with services that they need to better their better their lives. Yeah, that's wonderful to hear that, that there's some traction going on there. And as you said, it's something you've been working on for some time. Thank you so much for taking the time and joining us today. It was great to meet you. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.